While Isaiah Rogers is under investigation for possible violations of the league's anti-gambling policy, if you don't know already, now you do. Uh, this is from Destin Adams. All credit goes to him. Saw this on Twitter and saw this on Bring the Juice. Um, it's pretty disheartening because we all loved Isaiah Rogers. We all thought the sky was a limit for him. He played really well last year, and uh, it's just a bummer, you know. But at the end of the day, you can't feel bad for him because, you know, you see all these other players doing it and they get caught and. This is what happens, you know? Yeah, it sucks, and he's a great human being, and maybe the NFL's anti-gambling policies are kind of annoying, but if it's a rule, if it's a like a conduct thing, and you see other players getting um, punished for it as well, like losing time, this is at minimum a year. And, they, and some people were also talking about that this was – Possibly against his own team. This is even worse. Like, not not only when you bet against your own team, you kind of like lose your teammates a little bit, lose a locker room, you, and you get yourself in trouble on top of that. I mean, he's probably going to be out of the NFL, honestly. I don't know how long he's going to be, um, what do you call it, suspended for. He may be banned, you know. It sucks. It really does. And now you ask, who's going to be the boundary corners? We were expecting one of the rookies to fight for one spot. Now we got three rookies fighting for two spots. You got Brents, you have Darius Rush, and you have Jalen Jones. Not news we wanted to see today. Not news we wanted to see. Now, we do have Kenny Moore in the slot. He's not really a boundary guy. I think we know that. I think we could establish that. I think you need to go out and you need to sign a veteran cornerback and then have one of these rookies fight for the opposite spot. I mean, you can't go out week one with two rookie cornerbacks in the boundary. It just, it's a recipe for disaster. You know, there's so much youth. There's not, there, you know, there's no veteran presence. There's none of that in this room. You have Kenny Moore at the slot. That's... That's about all dang you got. You got nothing else in terms of veteran leadership, someone experienced on the outside. And it kills. It kills. Like, how are you going to bet against your own team? Like, your team, man. You know, you can't, like, bet against your team like that. You know, you're going to lose your teammates. And you damn well know that Chris Ballard is not going to put up with this. He's, you know, whether, you know, no matter how long he's suspended for, Chris Ballard is probably going to release him. The Colts are probably going to release him. They're probably going to want nothing to do with him. And, you know, do you blame them, you know, with the player betting against your own team and stuff? And it sucks to talk about him like this because he was, like, one of my favorite players. He was fun to watch. You, you know, you know his interviews were fun to watch. You loved the man. You loved him as a player. And it seemed he was great in the locker room. It just changes everything. That's That's no longer... And now we need to move on because, you know, yeah, he's still under investigation. Nothing is set in stone. Now, it is expected that it's only Isaiah Rogers. Michael Pittman was mentioned on a fake Schefter account. People went crazy. Pittman was not found guilty, you know, was not is not under investigation. But what if other players did this as well? You know, I don't think Pittman did do it, but there was a Schefter account that came out and said that it was a Schefter account was a fakey, but um, I hope other players did not partake in this activity and this, you know, kind of stuff because, you know, we can't be having that happen. Our team, we you know, we have some holes that we have to worry about ourselves right now, and we cannot be going through and doing this stuff. Like I said, I, I, we all, like, love Isaiah Rodgers. He's, like, a fan favorite. He's probably not going to be on the team anymore. You know, he was... One year away from maybe cashing in on, you know, whether it was a big or a half-decent contract, you know, with the Colts or someplace else. But no, it's probably going to get neither. But, oh well. You know, you make mistakes. And this is, the, the you know, this is a bigger mistake because you've seen what happened to Calvin Ridley. You've seen what happened to a few of those Lions players. And... When you see that kind of stuff happening and you still do it, you're kind of asking for it. I mean, let's be honest. But I want you guys to let me know what you think about this. Who do you think, you know, do you, 
do you think we should sign a veteran cornerback? Marcus Peters. I know William Jackson's out there. I don't really know who else, honestly, from the top of my head. Um, it stinks, but you guys let me know what you think the Colts should do. Sign a veteran quarterback. Maybe, maybe trade for one. Maybe we shouldn't have traded Gilmore. It doesn't look too good right now, but is what it is. So, when well, you guys let me know what you think about this situation, that's all I got for you. This is JDW Sports Talk Show. Signing off.